Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the policy seminar. So today, um, it's our great honor to have Kanaya Nwanzi as our speaker, a keynote speaker first, and followed by some of the roundtable discussions here. So uh, this morning, we had a leadership council meeting on the Compact 2025. So the Compact 2025 is a very bold initiative trying to accelerate the progress in ending hunger and malnutrition and nutrition by 2025. So the objective of the compact is to provide knowledge, data, research, and evidence to support other people's initiatives, including yours, to end hunger and malnutrition. I truly believe that if we all work together to share the data information, best practices, we can accelerate the progress, double or even triple the progress. So three key words of the Compact 2025. One is engage, so engagement. Engage with the countries, focal countries so far, so Malawi, um, Rwanda, Ethiopia, and Bangladesh. So in these four countries, we have engaged with high-level policymakers, researchers, knowledge providers, and so on, the so four countries. And we learned a great deal, high-level com political commitment, there's strong, strong, let's say, um, political will to make it happen, to reduce hunger and malnutrition by 2025. The second uh, key word is stimulation, to, stim to stimulate knowledge and innovations, knowledge exchange and innovations. How can we innovate? And as a part of the effort, so there will be a global as well as country knowledge hub that will be uh, established to promote knowledge sharing, to promote innovation. And finally, probably the most important keyword, keyword of the Compact 2025 is to support. Support other people's initiative, other people's efforts. Some initiative, SDGs, the second nutrition conferences, and more importantly, the national level uh, initiative commitment. So today, our keynote speaker, uh, Kanaya Nwanzi, uh, will present his view, his thoughts about the leadership issues in pushing uh, the agenda forward. So Kanaya is a, an old friend of mine, probably is also a mentor, mentor of mine and too many people, right? We learned quite a bit from him. He worked for CGI for 35 years, I guess, right? As a fellow DG 30, right? Fellow DGs, the African rice under his leadership this new African rice was developed called America, right? So many, many millions of smallholders now are using that rice to increase their productivity, their income, so their family can send their children to school and to accomplish uh, the ambitions that they have. And obviously today, Kamal is the president of IFAT, and he has been a very vocal champion in supporting smallholders. And, uh, and I was one of the smallholders 30 years ago back to China. So we, we agree on so many things, but sometimes we also challenge each other, particularly on the smallholders, whether we should move them up or move them up, move them up or move them out. But definitely they have to move on, move on to reduce hunger and malnutrition. Um, so Kamau is also a champion in supporting CGIR. CGIR uh, as a donor, uh, as a leader, and uh, obviously it is no exception. I mean, for the last four or five years, in many, many occasions, he has mentioned important policy work. I just cannot appreciate enough. You cannot eat policy, but without policy, you will not eat well. You will not eat nutritiously, healthily. So, Kamal, you will have 10 minutes. Let's uh, welcome him. Uh, yes. 